Hi friends, I'm super excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, statistics and research on this channel. To stay updated with the latest videos on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. Today I'll be discussing Noel Newman's Spiral of Silence model. So let's watch. Certain media and communication theories considers media to be extremely powerful while there are other theories which consider media to be not so powerful. At the same time, there are theories which sees the subtle effects of the media, not the direct effects of media. So the spiral of silence model is an example of the subtle effects of the media. The spiral of silence discusses how media representations impact an individual's social behavior. The spiral of silence theory was first proposed by German social scientist Elizabeth Noel Newman, who presented the theory in two research papers published in 1974. She followed this up with the publication of two books one in 1980 in German and another in 1984 in English. It was called The Spiral of Silence, Public Opinion, Our Social Skin. Influence of the media on public opinion is at times direct, at other times it is subtle. The main contention of the spiral of silence theory is that people who consider their viewpoint to be non-dominant or who think that they hold a minority viewpoint, they will not express this viewpoint publicly. They will remain quiet. People who think that they hold the dominant viewpoint or who have the majority viewpoint they might overestimate their influence and may become emboldened to loudly proclaim that viewpoint. At the same time, according to Noel Newman, the media coverage might focus more on these loud majority viewpoints and underestimate the minority viewpoints. There are four main assumptions in the spiral of silence theory. Firstly, the deviant individuals or those individuals who do not follow the dominant social norms are threatened with social isolation. The second assumption is that individuals experience fear of this social isolation continuously. They are afraid of being socially isolated. This fear of social isolation causes individuals to try and assess the climate of opinion at all times. According to Noel Newman, people are constantly trying to find out what is the dominant opinion. This understanding of the dominant opinion expressed in the mass media affects public behavior of individuals, especially the open expression or concealment of opinion which is not dominant. The loud expression of the dominant opinion on one side and the silence of the non-dominant opinion on the other side creates this downward spiral of silence. This is more prominent in issues which have an emotional content or which have a moral content. Let's now discuss the spiral of silence model in greater details. At the top of this spiral is the willingness to express opinion. 
as we can see this is influenced by the opinion expressed as dominant in the mass media there are different ways in which the mass media expresses opinions it could be through statistics it could be through news reports it could be the opinion of experts on the other hand is the societal pressure or lack of support for divine opinion there is generally very little support for opinion which is not dominant or open expression of opinion which is not dominant these opposing pressures cause the downward spiral of silence the number of people openly expressing divine opinion goes down because of this spiral of silence very few people end up expressing opinion which is not dominant however this spiral is not permanent public opinion as we know is a dynamic process and it is limited by time and place a spiral of silence holds sway only over a limited period of time Over the years media and communication scholars have criticized the spiral of silence model on many counts. Firstly, it has been argued that people tend to orient themselves more strongly to their personal networks. They orient themselves to people in their immediate environment rather than orient themselves to the society at large. Secondly, the spiral of silence theory does not consider the possibility of pluralistic ignorance. In this concept, the majority does not know who is in the majority. So, the idea of finding the majority viewpoint may not always be correct. Thirdly, the spiral of silence can possibly be explained in collective societies like the Asian societies. where the societal norms are stronger but it may not be easier to explain for individualistic societies like the american and western european societies fourthly many regard the spiral of silence theory as an over pessimistic view of the media and of the human nature and finally a silent majority may hold the same view privately allowing a vocal minority to impose a false consensus thanks for watching friends it has been a delight having you here i'll be back with another video very soon till then have a great time